So I'm going to draw a great big rectangle like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw in a shape for my boxer's ear. Okay. I'm going to draw in a shape for the other ear. Okay. And it's going right off the page, and that's okay. All right. So. Now I'm going to start sketching in some of the details of my boxer's face, okay? His eyes are going to be right in here. I'm going to draw the first eye just like this. Okay, so there's my boxer's eye. And I'm going to draw another eye shape over here. And curve line underneath. Okay. So there's my boxer's eyes. He has some detail around his eyes that I'm going to draw in in a little bit. Now I'm going to sketch in just kind of a curved line underneath here to show me kind of where that nose is at. Okay, I'm going to sketch in the nose shape right down here. And so the nose is going to be kind of an oval shape. Okay, and then I'm going to sketch in his nostrils. Okay, so there's my dog's nose shape. I'm going to change the shape of the bottom of this nose a little bit. And he has a little line right there. Okay, I'm going to sketch in a line coming straight down from that. And then I'm going to draw a line curving down and around like this, and down and around like this. This is going to be for my boxer's mouth. Okay. I'm going to adjust this edge just a little bit. Just like that. And I'll erase this line a little bit. This guideline, I don't really need Okay, so I have a basic boxer shape. I'm going to sketch in right here where his body is. It's just going to be kind of like that. We're going to draw in a line where his collar is. Because this boxer belongs to somebody. I don't know, somebody. Somebody put a collar on him. And so you can draw in the color as fancy as you want to. Right. So here's my basic boxer shape. Now, it's not really finished yet. It doesn't look very much like a boxer because I have a lot more detail to add. So I'm going to start off by drawing in some of the other detail around his eyes got some wrinkles. And some shadows. He's got some wrinkles here too. some detail around his eyes and he's got some wrinkles on his forehead. Okay, 
Now we're going to just start adding in some shading. His eyes are very dark except there's one spot right here where the light is reflecting on him. And the same thing over here. His eyes are very dark except for this one spot. So I'm going to shade in the eyes except for that one little bright spot. shade in this one. Okay, so his eyes are dark except for that little reflection. And I think he's got some dark shadows, dark fur around his eyes. So I'm going to shade in this little area right here. And I'm going to make this area around his eyes dark as well. I'm going to draw in a little line here because there's just a little bit of the light. So I'm going to make it dark and fade from dark to lighter gray. And then over here, we're going to shade this part in dark. And I'm going to make it dark around the eye. And then we'll color in the rest kind of the lighter gray color. So dark here. Um, yeah. Since it didn't apply to me, I forgot about it right away. Okay, so now I'm going to draw in this white space around. his nose. Okay. And this is going to be white, but everywhere else around it, this and the chin is going to be white, but everywhere else around it is going to be gray or darker. So I'll shade that in. I'm going to make it darker right here. And I'm going to start shading in this section over here. I want to go ahead and draw a dark line right in here to, to show where everything is. Another one right in there. Okay. I'm going to shade this area in up here. and my wrinkles a little bit darker in that area. And we'll shade this in. And we're going to make the 
this spot under his nose dark, all the way out to the outside dark. We're going to make the part right underneath his nose, we're going to make that a little bit darker. Dark area all the way down around here. I'm going to make his nostrils really dark. And we're going to make this part of his nose pretty dark. And this part of his nose dark, but not quite as dark as other places, right? So looking boxery yet, kind of, sort of, not mine. <laughs> there, now you can see it without the glare. My graphite has a glare on it today. All right, so right in here, I'm going to draw a dark shadow. underneath that ear, and I'm going to draw a little crease in my ear right there, and then the rest of it's going to be medium gray, a little dark on the ear edge, okay? And then here we're going to add like a darkness right here in the middle at the top. The darkness right here on the edge so we can see the direction that the ear is kind of curving but the rest is going to be medium gray okay and then there's a white patch of fur under his chin he's got his collar on and we're going to draw A dark shadow on this back side of the collar and make the top a little brighter. So a little color in the side of the collar a little bit darker than that top edge. We've got a, another edge right here. So, color in your collar a little bit. You can add some little notches to it if you want to. Okay. And let's make this part of him the darker colored fur. We're going to make a shadow where it overlaps on the collar right there. So, We'll make this part some darker fur, right? And so then we'll draw in some darker fur here. And then here as well. Okay, so I've got a pretty good looking boxer. If you want to give them some tags, you know how dogs have tags to tell that they have all their shots and that their owners um, have their information on there in case they get lost. You can add a little tag if you want to. They're all different shapes. I'm going to just make a tag that's kind of roundish. And then I'm just going to put some scribbly information on it. So not doing anything. I'm going to make them have a couple of tags. Just like that. So I'm going to make this kind of a grayish color. Okay. So there's my boxer. Um, if I want to draw in some detail behind him to make it look like there's something going on behind him, I'm just going to draw in a horizon line. And I don't know where this dog is at. Is he sitting in your living room? Or maybe he's at the park. And so in the background, there's like some trees and, and different things going on, right? So I don't know where you want to draw your dog. Um, you can think about that. 
uh, maybe um, he's in the backyard and his water dish is back here. Or maybe that's a baby pool, actually. It's kind of huge. So. so just draw in the details of your background. Yeah. I've decided mine is, well, it, it looks more finished if you do. Otherwise, it looks kind of unfinished if there's nothing I mean, even if all you do is just add in, like, some shading to the background and you do, like, a, you know, a, a dark value to a lighter value or whatever, you know, and kind of gradually fade it out, it's going to look a lot better than if you just leave it completely alone. So that's why I decided to just sketch in a few things. Make it a little more interesting to look at. So that's a lot more interesting than just a plain white background. All right, I'm going to come around and see how you did. <laughs>